Happy Easter, everybody. I uh, hope your Sunday's going well. Um, today, we're going to do a fast and furious overview of all of our critters. Um, not none, none of the fur babies, but all of the uh, cold blooded stuff. Um, so, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to piece it together just real quick sn snippets of each of them, maybe their names, maybe how long we've had them. Jen's going to help me. We're going to do her. Uh, um, a little gecko update on all the geckos that she has so uh, stay tuned appreciate it and of course beautiful Tiamat is doing awesome Bosk is doing spectacular I'm gonna give him some super worms here in just a little bit so there's blue in the foreground and her boyfriend Chip there in the background. That's my adult pair of Anola Smallwoodi. They are doing awesome. And here's Ricky, my adult Anola Sparacoe. And, and there's Lucy, and she is Grabbit. She got the some swelling in her belly there, so I'm hoping to get some eggs out of her. They are doing awesome. Sid, my male common nuggetal. He's just up getting some bass going. Oh, here's Louise. And there's Thelma being awful shy. And of course, this is my yearling pair of Anola Smallwood Eye. There's the male on the left and his little girlfriend right there on the right. Um, step siblings, uh, they hatched today apart, so different moms, same dad. But let's we'll see if I can get some eggs out of them this year. They will be a year old next month. Huh? And this shy guy is my almost year old. Anolis Baracoe. He's a male. He's the only Anolis Baracoe hatchling I kept back from last year. He is doing outstanding. And here is a day old Anolis Baracoe hatchling. So uh, happy first Easter to you, little guy. Let's see if it'll focus a little bit better for me. Probably a male, no cross banding. I have him in with uh, two other little spring hatchlings. These are female Enola Smallwood Eye. So there's one. Look at the prominent cross hatchings. And there's the other one. But that's all that I'll put in this small enclosure, just the three of them. Any future hatchlings will go in separate enclosures. I wish that would focus a little better. But an Olisparacoe, possible male, in with two female and all the small would I. They're just hatchlings, obviously. They're not, I don't, you know, they're not sexually mature. I'm not breeding them. I'm not mixing the species or anything like that. But just a little Easter update on these three little guys. This shy little guy is my oldest baby smallwood eye hatched out in December last year uh, cross banding is fading away so I'm gonna say he's probably a male but he is doing excellent there's Siri I think she was laying an egg probably a dud she's never been with a male and there's Nancy doing awesome and here's Gimli, the Cuban false chameleon, or bearded and all. Come on. Let's see if it'll focus for me. Doesn't seem to want to focus. And there's Belladonna. Hard to make her out through the glass, but. She's still getting settled in being in with Gimli, but doing fine. Shamrock, my 10 year old undulated triggerfish, doing awesome. 
his Domino Damsel tank mate. Been together for four or five years now. My favorite all time marine aquarium fish right there. I'm glad he stayed small for me. He's just in a 65 gallon aquarium. Sorry about the glass and the glare. Super snow leopard gecko. This is Tyrion. Yep. There we go. And this is Diva. The leopard gecko. The leopard gecko. And I'll find out the morph. I'll put that on the screen. Okay. So gorgeous. Yep. Because it's on the sticker somewhere, right? Oh. <gasps> Tangerine albino enigma. All right. And there is. She's fired down right now. Yeah. So she gets red and lavender. And that is Rook. Color. So, All right. and solid Ooh. color. Mm -hmm. Still doesn't want to focus. And this is a female. <laughs> From last year. Does this one have a name? Uh, this one is, uh, I think, this one's Hops, and Hops. I think Hops is going to be a male. This is one of the babies, the the latest babies to come out. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have some dark, uh, very dark sides with <laughs> little drippy going on there. And when did we? When did he hatch? Um, I had it written down. I I don't know if that. Oh, just a couple months ago. Yeah. There you go, baby. I think I have it. It goes out. There we go. Okay. So that's Cocoa Puff. All right. Yeah. Again, she's fired down. She usually gets a bright golden color. And she does have some Dalmatian spots. Okay. Is that the one that lost the tail? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is terrible light, so is that better light? Uh, it's a little bit better. So that's a, one of our newer gargoyles. That's a juvenile. Lost his tail. We don't have a name for him yet. Another of our newer gargoyle geckos. We don't have a name for him yet either. Juvenile. Can you list them up a little closer to the light? There we go. I don't want to focus. I don't get it. Okay. Okay, so this is whiskey. Oh, right there. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Male. Okay. Whiskey. This is mocha. Mm. 
Okay. This is my lychee. This is kaiju. They're the beast. Cool. Focus in on him. That's our one and only lychee. He's beautiful. Get him colors. All right. That's kaiju. All right, and here's uh, Flop T, the little guy who has got sort of a funny tail thing going on, but he's doing well. He's out in the living room with Jen's geckos. And here's Val, uh, short for Valencia, our Niger orange Ner Nigerian neuromastics. She is uh, a little stressed right now, so she's... A um, bit dull, but she is uh, she's doing excellent. We got Lucky. Lucky the spiny tail iguana. Hey buddy. He's ready for some bugs, which I'm gonna give him momentarily. So the Nuvo Fusion 10 Nano Reef is doing extremely well. It has cycled. I got a couple zoanthid frags. Hopefully they'll come into focus for you that are doing really well. I have uh, coralline algae growing on my uh, base rock. Um, all kinds of pods. I'm not going to be able to zoom in on them so you can see them, but there's a pod population in here. Must have came on in one of the frags. Um, I'm working on getting my calcium and alkalinity squared away. I am using lime water in my top off so I'm experimenting and just you know making sure my parameters are excellent uh, still trying to decide what kind of fish I want to put in this fella uh, probably a shrimp goby and maybe a pistol shrimp um, I don't think I'm gonna do the you know the clownfish thing it's awful small for that but small shrimp goby one fish and I definitely want to try to do some stony corals that's why I want to get the uh, parameters squared away with using the lime water also known as cockwasser but uh, she's doing good. So there's my biggest koi, butterfly koi. All of my fish survived the winter. I did a huge water change, probably a 75% water change on my Rubbermaid stock tank pond yesterday. Uh, water's still pea green. It won't clear up until I get some, uh, some cover plants, some um, water hyacinth and some water lettuce, and then it should uh, hopefully start clearing up a little bit for me. But uh, I pruned a whole bunch of the trees that were in the remote bog, trees, I'm sorry, plants that were in the remote bog. Did a big water change. Um, everybody's coming up to eat. The water temperature's starting to, to uh, increase a little bit. And uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I will have crystal clear water and be able to see all my fish. But there were no dead fish from the winter. And last but not least is Big Indy. Indy has been spending some time in here on the kitchen floor on her uh, heat mat underneath her little uh, low wattage incandescent light bulb. Um, weather and temperature should start getting high enough so that I can keep her outdoors in her tortoise pen. But uh, she is doing excellent. Currently incubating five Enola Smallwoodi eggs. Um, three of them are definitely fertile. I have questions about this guy and this guy, but I'm going to keep them in here until uh, until you know I know for sure either they're going to quit growing or they're going to get mold on them, and in which case I will uh, remove them from the incubator. But that's what I have in my incubator so far. We have one lonely crested gecko egg incubating. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, spring update of all of our uh, critters, the fish tanks, the pond, uh, the tortoise. Um, got some big things planned for the summer. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to you know give anything away right now. But uh, I'm going to work on doing some uh, uh, an outdoor enclosure, multi-species enclosure, uh, specifically for Bosk and Tiamat. But also I want to get at least one pair of the Nidanoles out there. Um, probably a pair of my uh, small wood eye, the young pair. Um, get them out there and with uh, tropical plants, uh, mist system, the whole nine yards, uh, auxiliary heat in case it gets cool here, uh, which it might, uh, southeast Virginia. But uh, big plans coming ahead. Please stay tuned to the channel. Um, any comments, don't hesitate to ask. 
eight baby spiny tail iguanas still uh, uh, looking for good homes for them so uh, message me or shoot me an email uh, night and all at gmail.com and ask me any questions you might have about them but I uh, hope you guys had a great week I hope you had a great Easter and until next time take care